What's up guys, Yuri Rocks here with another guitar review. It's been a while, but we're back. And today we're talking about the Epiphone SG G400. Check out this sweet paint job, man. This guitar I've had for a long time. I've had it for over 10 years. I remember my dad bought this for me at Guitar Center and it was my first real guitar. I was so excited. And I'll admit the main reason I got it was because of the looks, man. I didn't know anything about guitars. I just knew that this guitar looked awesome. First up, we got these trapezoid inlays. These are really cool, different from the traditional dots that you'll see like on strats or other things like that. Uh, if you look back here, the neck, it's also you know painted and coated in red paint. Now, one thing I will say about this neck is it is super thick. I mean, just look at the thickness of this. I'll show you the thickness of the body right here, and I'll show you the neck, man, and I swear it's almost about the same thickness. Um, I will say that some of the newer Epiphones that I've seen at Guitar Center do have thinner necks, so it looks like they fixed that. But one of the main problems with this guitar is that since the body is so light, when you wear it with the strap, the body will literally go like this. I'm like, what is up with that? I don't know. Check this out. I mean, even the guys at Guitar Hero got it right, man. They put the guitar strap button up here, which is much smarter in my opinion, because if you look at the other one, it has it on the back. All right, you ready for this? Ready? Check it out. <laughs> and now for Guitar Hero. Ready? Bing! So if you look at the uh, back of the guitar, again, you can see this awesome, awesome paint job. You got the cavity back here for your electronics, your tone and volume controls. But look at the tone, uh, look at the strap button right here. So I think this probably has a lot to do with, you know, the imbalance of when you're wearing it. Normally you'll see Stratocasters and other guitars with the button up here. Even Tony Iommi, I learned recently on his guitar, Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath, he modified it to where he put the strap button up here. So that's super smart, man. Awesome. <laughs> Talking about specs, this guitar has a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, meaning that from the nut all the way to the last fret, you have 24 and 3 quarter inches. And that's different from your regular Fender Stratocasters or Ibanez, which are 25 and a half inches. So basically what that means is that when you're playing, the frets are gonna be a lot closer to each other. So honestly, I find myself sometimes when I'm playing, I, I accidentally skip a fret, you know? And I guess that's cool because I'm used to playing my Fender more than this, but I guess when you kind of skip a fret, you get that different tone or, you know, you just have different notes in order. So kind of makes it cool if you're trying to like branch out of your traditional playing with your Fender. If you want to play a different style, just pick up one of these. It's a different instrument altogether, man. So I would recommend it. Um, I will say when you're playing chords with this guitar, man, very chunky, very very nice uh, neck for playing chords. I've heard in the past that people just like playing riffs on SGs or even less Pauls, and I think it's true, man. You can... Talking about pickups, this guitar has two pickups. You got your uh, pickup on the neck, and then you got the one on the bridge. Three-way toggle switch right here, nothing special about that, you know? Just 
three-way toggle and then you got your uh, two volume controls and then you got your two tones um, I don't really find a need for that honestly I just like to have one uh, volume all the time but if I guess if you're trying to do like this kill switch thing where you go like it's good for that or if you know you want the volume on the neck to be a little lower you know and then you flick it to the lead you can do it for that too but for me I really find no preference in that and then same thing for tone man honestly I just keep my tone at max to be honest yeah the tuners are decent uh, I I believe these are, yeah, these are Grover tuners, so I think they're pretty standard. I think they even use these on some of the Gibson guitars, but, you know, they've got, like, decent tuning. I wouldn't say it's the best, uh, but, I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is, you know. It's pretty good. Like I said, this is an older guitar. This is from 2007, at least, when I bought it new, so, um, you know, I'm sure that they've improved on it a lot, but, uh, you know, it's still a good guitar. It's fun to play. Um, kind of makes me think about getting a PRS in a way because those are 25 inch scale lengths So it's right between the Epiphones and the Fenders um, But yeah, I mean it's a cool guitar, you know I've had it for a long time So you'll probably enjoy it too if you pick up one of these like I said, I got it for $400 brand new um, So yeah, check out one of these guitars. They're awesome. I will say that I was having some pickup issues with this guitar where like the signal would clip in and out and that's kind of one of the reasons I stopped using it. I mean I had stopped using it before but the, I noticed that after maybe three or four years the signal started cutting out and I had a friend with the Epiphone, Les Paul, he said the same thing happened. Um, but you know I, I played it, plugged it in, changed the strings and it worked you know. So maybe something just inside moved I guess. All right, so here I have my GNL ASAC Classic guitar, and I'm just gonna show you the thickness side by side. If you look at these bad boys, you'll see that the Epiphone is thinner. Uh, so just in case you wanted a reference, I mean, these guitars are super, super thin. Now here is my American Fender Stratocaster is my baby. If you look at them side to side, well, this one's black, so it's kind of hard to tell, but just look at, try to look at the thickness, man. Like. It's pretty significant. I would say maybe the SG's maybe three quarters, three quarters of the width as this guitar. So just in case you needed a reference, I mean, these guitars are thin. Honestly, even if you look at the body types, they're kind of similar in a way that they got the two horns. But um, I mean, this one's a smaller body than this one, you know? So like you might look like a giant if you're an adult playing this guitar versus this guitar. You know, but I mean, it's all it's all aesthetics. That's not really a big issue or factor uh, for me as much as it is playability and sound. So yeah, two different guitars. I mean, you can even compare the headstocks. You know, you got the six on this one. Sorry, you got the six in row on this one, and then you got the three and three on this one. So very different instruments. But yeah, definitely, man. Uh, check these out. I do recommend. Them. They are fun to play uh, for the price point. A little high, honestly, for $400, you could get a, uh, for $500, you could get a good Mexican Stratocaster for sure. So for $400, it's a little pricey. Maybe consider getting one used or secondhand or something like that. But um, like I said, I just couldn't pass up on the looks, man. Like, it looks awesome. Just look at this guitar. This is like Angus Young and uh, Tony Iommi written all over it. And it's a cool guitar. But for beginners, the neck can be a little thick. So if you're starting out, I would recommend maybe getting a Squire or like a cheap Fender $300, something like that. You'll have more tonal options as well with the three single coils. I'm like a single coil kind of guy. I prefer that. Lately, I've been playing that more, but humbuckers are cool too, man. If you're starting out and you just want to play some crunchy tones, you know, some Guns N' Roses, some Black Sabbath, just anything metal as well, I guess. You could play metal with this too. Um... So, yeah, I guess thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me a like, and if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. If you have any questions about this guitar or anything in general, drop a comment. Let me know what's up, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.